what hosting provider performs best for craft? Yep, this came in right before uh, the show from Anonymous. And uh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Is Anonymous? Is this Nevin? Is it Nevin? Write this in. <laughs> Nevin so. from Arcus Tech. I think it was him. Uh, good question. Uh, probably not. Like, uh, it's a good question because you should be knowing. Like, are there hosting providers that are optimized for craft? And the answer to that is yes. Um, but I think it's probably good to know to ask the question rather than just to throw it on just any host because. Some people can run into problems on, on certain types of hosts, especially shared hosting. Uh, you can have issues. But what, what would you say to someone that walked up to you, Andrew? They found your house on a country road and walked up your four-mile driveway, reached the barn, thirsty for water, knocked on the barn door and said, excuse me, sir, I need water. But first, what hosting provider performs best for craft? What would you say? I would... I would first inform them that we do have a castle law here in New York, so they were in peril uh, for <laughs> trespassing on my property and harassing me at my place of business. Um, but I would find out a little bit about the website they were hosting, and I would find out a little bit about them and their capabilities and what they wanted the hosting provider to handle or what they wanted to, to roll their own, you know, that type of thing. Right. So it would depend. You know, I think Arcus Tech has some great managed hosting uh, Fort Rabbit has some great managed hosting. Served.host is some, some fantastic infrastructure and in managed hosting. You also could just spin it up yourself with a VPS and, and uh, set everything up with Ploy or with Forge or, you know, whatever your, your comfort level is for doing this stuff. There are a lot of good choices. I think any of those would be great depending on your skill level. How about you? Or not skill level. That's a terrible way to put it. More what you want to handle versus what you want someone else to handle for you. Right. Uh, there's all, I mean, when it comes to a lot of things, there's considerations like what is the, do you, do you have requirements for the project and what is your budget? And that's going to help determine because uh, you're probably, if your requirements are that you need to auto scale this to, uh, you know, a hundred thousand concurrent users at peak time, whenever you do an email blast, but you only have 50 bucks a month, then those are out of whack, right? So, and then you can go from there. And what are, what are your capabilities? Do you want to do some, some dev opsy stuff or do you not want to do anything? Um, you know, do you want to spin up a digital ocean droplet and manage it yourself? Or do you want to do something with uh, what they have at like Fort Rabbit or uh, what Matt has done at Served where you, you uh, they, they kind of manage it a little bit closer, more closely for you but that would be yeah, my look I, would, I would give the person water i would let them in to your barn and i would uh, sit them on one of your leather sofas or one of your i don't know one of those beanbag things that i don't even want to say the name because i think it's weird but um they're called love sacks they're called love <laughs> they sure sacks. Are. yeah I, it's not my fault i didn't name them that's what they're called man. <laughs> they're really comfortable <laughs> I'm sorry that you have discomfort knowing that I like to nestle into my love sack, but it's true. It's, it's very comfortable, and the dog loves it, too. Okay. Um, but in uh, any do you event. Have, do you actually have, I don't usually ask you for links to articles, but do you have an article on hosting for craft? I don't even know. I do. I wrote an article a long time ago okay. on how agencies. Is it still agencies, up to date to link to? Yeah, sure, because it more is kind of an overview of, of talking about it. I approach that from the point of view that you should just spin up your own VPS, use something like Forge or Ploy to configure it. But, mm -hmm. you know, it depends. You have to look at what you're getting. So, for instance, if you did use served.host, he automatically provides static caching for you if you want it. Like, you yep. just turn it on. He also has an image transform service where he's kind of doing his own uh, imagex in a way. Um, and, and that's baked in. So, and he has everything scaling up with Kubernetes. So, you know, just look at what you're getting and, and look at what your comfort level is in terms of managing it yourself versus, uh, having someone else do it for you. You know, that's really what it is. Yep. That makes sense. 